up, it's Nani Blanco, and I'm sitting here with Thizzler.com. I started rapping when I was eight, but I um, like one of the first songs, like my mom used to play a lot of Lil' Kim. And uh, shit, I was like four or five. And um, like I knew all Lil' Kim's lyrics to this one song. I'd rather not say what the song is, but. And uh, I went over to my dad's house, and this is back like when they had those radios that you could record. record. And my stepsister, she was hella like a little bitch. And she was like, um, and I'm like, I can rap. Like, I know this song. She's like, rap it, rap it. And I rapped it, and she was like, rap it again. And she recorded me, and she showed my dad, and I got a whooping. And uh, Lil' Kim, Tupac, like, I'm a 90s baby, so, like, majority of the 90s shit, but, like, my dad used to listen to a lot of Messy Marv, like, Messy Marv, Keep the Sneak, shit like that. That's what I grew up on. Like, It's cool, as, it's cool as fuck, like, it's cool, like, to be working with my mom, but then at the same time, it's like, um, she's my mom, so, like, you know, your mom thinks, your mom always feels like they know what's best for you and they, they want the best for you, but sometimes they could be a little uh, pushy and, um, yeah. It's, it, it got its pros and cons for sure, like, but at the end of the day, it's like, it works out for me because I'm close to my mom. So, yeah, it works out really good for me. <clears throat> Pretty Milton is like a lifestyle. It's like a, just a movement like for young females. It's like all my bitches that's pretty militant. All my bitches that's like cute and really with the shit. Like, we ain't no like. Yeah, it's not a, like a clicker no shit like that, but it's a lifestyle. Um, so when I wrote the real, okay, so um, it was about a day or two after uh, the diss song was made, and uh, I was hella mad, like I was hot as fuck, and um, so. It actually was the next day. And so I woke up the next morning, like, hella, hella people calling me and shit, like, the fuck is you gonna do? Like, what you gonna do? So I'm like, so I try to go to, I try to get like a little, like, West Coast, like, hyphy ass, you know, some shit that, like, like some West Coast shit, like some, some shit that we be on out here. And it just wasn't working. It wasn't, you feel me? And then I, I went to the real, because of that Rocky being the Molly Brazy shit. And I was just like, Feeling that shit, like, I was feeling it, and, um, you said, was I feeling me? Yeah. Well, I mean, of course, how the fuck else was I supposed to feel? Yeah, I felt me, I felt evil, like I wanted to hurt somebody. But I knew I couldn't do it physically, cause, so I was like, okay, I'm gonna have to, like, verbally abuse this bitch. And, uh, that's what, how the real came about. The origin of the beef, so the beef started, where did it start? It started because I beat up her sister, and because um, they had jumped my knees, so I beat up her sister. This is when we could like actually like, what's up, like you, you jump my knees, so alright, like pull up, like we finna fight, you gonna get the shit over with. And then after that, um, so I beat up her sister, and I put that video of the fight in one of my songs, in one of my like videos. And um, after that, I ain't gonna lie, like, that's what I was doing in the streets, so that's what I was rapping about. Like, she wasn't really no rapper. She was doing like Mozzie challenges, trying to get noticed. And um, I was rapping, you feel me? So I'm talking about what the fuck I'm doing, and um, shit, yeah, I put the video, the, the fight up in there, and I was sending hell the shots and the songs, like, but I didn't think that she was gonna make this because she wasn't no rapper, like, so. Yeah, we go to jail. Like, I hadn't seen her for a long time. And uh, I'm actually just getting out the shower, and they like, yeah, that bitch is in here. And I'm like, she's not up in here. Like, I'm never gonna see this bitch. And I'm like, she in here? They're like, yeah, she's like, tell her to come back here to the bathroom, and I'll beat that ass. I wanna say it's easier because it's not that many females. Like, so it's 
not that over. It's a lot of females, but it's not like not a lot that matters. So it's like kind of easy when you know that you're tighter than a lot of bitches. But then it's like when it's, it's also like harder. Like when you a female like me, like and you're not like. Cause a lot of bitches is like selling sex. I'm not selling sex. I'm not a hoe. I don't, you feel me? Like I'm not trying to get on by um, being sexual. Like I talk about a lot of sexual shit cause I, you know, I'm human, people have sex. But it's like, um, I feel like with women, it's more so like, uh, it's kind of hard. Like you gotta, you gotta do your thing. Like you should, it's actually kind of hard for bitches in the rap game. I ain't for no lie. It should been hella hard, but I'm on my <laughs> But shit, like, it is what it is. Like, I've been put in situations, like I said in other interviews, where it's like, you you ain't paying me, so, like, let's fuck. Like, shit like that. Like, I really, yeah, that's the reality of this shit, for real. So, um, it's like, is you fucking and you sucking, or or you just, you know, you gonna be a stand-up female and try to push your way through the shit. Cause a lot of bitches is fucking and sucking and a lot of us ain't. So it's like, that's the reality of the situation. Like that's the reality of the industry, you feel me, period, so. I'm working on my EP right now. I am, it's a six song EP, so I just got a distribution deal. And um, I yeah. And for a little EP, it's gonna be crazy. I'm doing hella like up tempo ass beats, and um, that's what I got going on next. I'm having a show coming up. Um, I'm like throwing my own show. Me, Shooter Gang, uh, Ali Cocaine, Lil Kayla, um, who else? Boe Sosa. I'm called Tax Season. It's in what, April seventh. April 7th, so it's gonna be in San Jose, so look forward to that. Like, 